Hi everyone, I hope that you're good out there. Today we are going to talk about transitions. Firstly, I'm gonna show you how to shoot them and then how to make them even better in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's take this video as an example. Let's start with a little bit of behind the scenes. I'll go shot by shot and explain what was important in this particular one. First one was pretty basic. We wanted to establish a scene and also explain what is the video about. Dario was standing still and keeping the TV and the character in the frame. The next shot was supposed to show my amazing acting skills, of course, and the excitement of the main character. It started with a movement to the character and then a fast whip to the left to hide behind a stack of pillows. This was supposed to help with transition to another shot. For this scene, I used my glass desk. I put camera on my leg and I put the drawing upside down so it's visible for the camera as I move with the chair. Once I got to the drawing, I lifted the camera to create an illusion that the camera is going through the drawing. In this next shot, I asked Dario to lift the camera up while I finish the drawing and then take it off the table. I finished the building rocket part with a little nice touch on the end as you can see the camera is on the tripod nothing special the important thing though was to keep the same size of the rocket as it was on a drawing from the shot before i finished the shot with covering the lens with my hand the shot started with a black frame covered by a pullover which was thrown at me you can ask me why i was jumping this helped me to hide a cat with another shot where i was already dressed the key here was to jump similarly standing in the same spot. I entered the frame from the left side and then pretended to leave the house. Last scene was certainly the most fun but also the most challenging one. I had to shoot three times. First shot with no racket at all second with the racket with closed door and me jumping into it and then the third shot with racket with open door once i was done shooting i put everything into a timeline let's see the effect with no effects and no sound design I chose the clips that I liked the most and put them in a timeline in the right order. Then I went one by one and tweaked them so they give better results. For example, the first video, I can see that it is a bit shaky. I use our favorite effect, warp stabilizer. Okay, I want to, as before, change it to 20%. That already looks pretty good. But as you can see, the second short starts with a movement towards the character. So I will add that in post to the first one as well. In order to do that, we need to click on the scale toggle animation in the first frame, right? And then go to almost the end and type, for example, 105%. It helps to match with the second clip. Okay, this transition I'm pretty happy with. The only thing that I would change is that the pillows are not completely dark. So we will use a dip to black transition in here. Just a small, let's make it shorter. Yeah, and what it does is it helps to match the clip with the second one. Okay, this is a bit too long. I don't want it to fade on my face. So what I will do, 
is I will only apply it to the first clip since second one is coming out of black. A nice little trick if you cannot apply it is to create a shorter version of the clip, just cut it by one frame. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how it matches with another clip. That's great. This again, it looks pretty good. Okay, and now we come to the reveal of the racket part. Where I'm going to use the technique that I mentioned earlier, which is called masking. On the end of this shot, it would be nice if the paper would fill in all of the frame. How to achieve that? It's pretty simple, just scale it. 55% is okay. Click on motion, adjust. Ah, 55 is still not enough. Let's put it to 59. Okay, but maybe a bit less. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now, as you can see, I put this clip on top of the other one simply because I'm gonna use masking. But also, it would be nice to align the racket from the paper so it matches the racket on the table. I'll click on this clip, change the opacity for a second to 50%, click on the clip below, scale it, so it's more or less the same. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. The goal is not to confuse the viewer. Let's bring back the opacity to 100% and now create a mask one by one. So the movement starts somewhere here. So that's where we will start our mask. I'll make it smaller, 50%. So we have some room to play with. Okay, create our mask. It is really important to click on Toggle Animation next to the mask path. And now we can animate our mask. So we go to, to the next frame. Click on mask. Okay, this is still good. Okay, now... Okay, and... Okay, and let's add in here a bit of mask feather. Let's set it to 100. I think that should be good. It, crea it creates that feather effect. Okay, let's put it down. Next one. Okay, this is where it starts to blur very fast. where our faces are a bit starting to be visible. Yeah, cool. So let's see how it looks. Yeah. Awesome. For the next clip, not much tweaking is needed since it transitions quite well. I'm covering the lens with my hand Maybe I could add a cross dissolve transition. Which helps which helps blend to those two clips together. And yeah, this this looks okay. I'm using a simple cut, but I'm very careful about the timing of the cut. The best effect is when the hoodie covers most of my body. 
after watching this transition a couple of times, I can see that something is wrong. And I figured out that the exposition is different. So the shot after is a bit brighter than the shot before. I'll try to fix it in post. To fix that, I go to Lumetri panel in, and bring down the exposure. Let's say minus 0 0.04. And that already looks better. Okay, that's great. In here, it's another cut. I'm leaving the frame and just try to match the movement of me walking. As I said, last shot was the most challenging one. And let's jump to Adobe After Effects. I want to give you a quick walkthrough of how I achieved the final result. Firstly, let me show you the layers. The first one is obviously the racket standing on the books. The second one is everything around the racket. So you can see the mask here. Next, there was a background for me running, so it would match the character. The next one was me. And since the lighting was changing, I also had to put the house for an entire sequence to make sure that it is not changing over time. Then I pre-composed the whole thing, color graded, and then we have a color graded fog, which looks like a burning fuel. On top of it, we have more burning fuel, another layer of fog, which is also close to the ground. Then we have more fog, which is, as you will see for the entire shot, expanding. And then we have the fog, which is literally an overlay in a whole picture apart from the house. Let's watch the result without any audio effects. I downloaded some effects from freesound.org and I think at this stage the video looks already pretty good. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Cheers!